and today we're going to a gun show in Vallejo at the fairgrounds and you know stick tuned we'll get right into it let's go <laughs> This is a kelp tag I think. Yeah, this is a fin grip. It, it, it's, it's so you can't like hold it like that. You have to hold it like like that. That's a Riley Defense RAK47 with that chain. Yeah, bro. with that shit that barrel bro look at that barrel on there that's a fat barrel competitor what does it say competitor 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 i don't know what really right. <laughs> don't mind me so you would have to for the 26 you would have to get a little extender grip extended grip for that pinky though, this is a good one for a uh, concealed carry. For sure. You don't mind if I record, right? No. Uh, okay, bad, bad. Can I see this big thing right here? That's a good choice. This is a custom gun. Your ear, Bill Davis. Huh? Bill Davis was top 10 shooter in the US. Oh. Retired CHP and he's from here. Okay. He built this gun. You can dry fire, feel the action. Pretty dry fire? Yeah. Ooh, hey, yo, yo, yo. Now pull it through real slow. Real slow? Yeah. Okay. Now leave it, leave it hammered down and then pull it all the way through real slow with your finger. Turn the trigger. Now pull it through, leave it, leave it down. And just pull your finger through. Oh, hey, yeah, okay, okay, I see why. I can see why you tell me to do this. But that's butter. It's like two and a half pound trigger. That's butter. It's got some weight to it. Jerry, you well, see this? No. See, they build them like that. It's a 38. But this, they put all this weight on here. And then this is set up for PCP shooting for the target distance to your target. Like competition? Yeah. But he won a whole room full of trophies. Like I say, he was, was this like personally owned, or is it like one of like something that this like, was his own gun? Oh, this yeah. is a per this so this is a real like collector's item for real. Yeah, but it's this is an unusual gun too because most of them have that plastic uh, frame. Mm -hmm. This is all steel. All steel. So it's heavier. Oh, that's better. Oh, I like steel. Steel feels nice. Does the heaviness help with the recoil? Though? Oh yeah. I had two two shields in the 40. I like the uh, like how you put a little extendo on there because yeah, that, I need that finger. To, to catch that pinky. Yeah, that motherfucker be hanging Otherwise, off. Otherwise, you got to have the pink cut off. Right, <laughs> <laughs> had the pinky cut off. I like that. It feels nice, dude. Yeah, it does. Honestly, that'd be like a good little. That's a perfect concealed weapon. But what about that the MP shell? I like that. That's, That's that very group. nice. Now. The reason it's priced like that, he paid three hundred dollars extra for this finish mm -hmm. and for the sights. Oh! And he had an action job Ooh. put on it. I mean, it's had less than fifty rounds through it, but less than fifty rounds. That okay. feel how smooth it is. Okay, I got you. I like those those glow sights right there. That shit's yeah. nice. Yeah. This will put my bag. Isn't that nice? Pull it through real slow and you can feel how smooth it is. Feel the wall. 
Isn't that nice? Yeah, the way it hits that water, why it stops right there. Now, I, the holster goes with it, and I got 10 round, 10 magazines that go with it. Isn't that nice? That's I walked nice. in the shop. The guy that owned that worked at a gun shop, mm -hmm. and I go in there a lot. I walked in, and they just put that in the rack. I said, no, 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 let me see that. <laughs> and I said, I'll take it. Let me see that. Wow, I like this glow sight combination yeah. with the green one. Yeah. Like and I like the color. Dude, yeah, the, that olive draft. Wait, who made this? I don't, well, it's it's a Smith & Wesson shield, but I don't know who did the work. Well, somebody did some fine work on this. Yeah. This rubber grip This is right good, here. too. Yeah, that grip. On my 40, my 245s, I have the same grip on there. Same one? Yeah, I've got small hands. But I like that rubber grip, it doesn't slide around. No, yeah, I could like really like, I could hold it. This is firm. one of the few guns when they first came out about eight or nine years ago. I walked into a shop and the guy hands it to me and says, Stay and try this. And I said, Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. I like that. But, that fits. but you know, guys look at it and go a thousand dollars. You got there's ten, you got six hundred dollars in magazines. Yeah, that's ten mags. Like, yeah. And people can complain about because they probably don't know. Right? Yeah. Know well, know. when you figure this, retail I mean, look at the gun itself, bro. You don't see like a regular NP looking like this all the time. No, no, you don't see one this nice. And it's California legal. It's got the little deal. Now this is stupid. When you got a bullet in here, it pops oh. up. I mean, why don't you just have people walk around with the guy all the time with the gun? Yeah. Say, now don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this, don't do that. For you real. treat every gun as if it's loaded anyway until you prove it's not. Mm -hmm. But until yeah, that shield is a nice gun. I like that shield on the shield. That one and this one is like the, the best at the table. Right? Yeah. I like that. Now, this Mauser is from 1964. It's never been fired. What? What? It's yeah. never been fired? No. Nope. Sheesh, that's And it's from Germany. Yeah. It's brand new. Brand new. It's new. Uh, the nice thing about the Mauser, it's a 380, but it's double action also. How you can tell the gun, okay, see that one? See where the trigger is? Mm -hmm. To see all these others, see where the trigger is? Yeah. They're in the middle. The one that's, see, that 45 on the first round, you got to cock it. But you don't have to with these, you just pull the trigger like a revolver. This one, my buddy, he's like I am, he's left handed. So oh, the so first thing he does is put the double action, you know, the oh, evidence okay. of safety. Oh, that's but nice. for your first round, the way you carry it, one in the barrel, you carry it cocked and locked. Can I see that one? Yeah. This is the American, uh, what was going to be the original? Colt 45. That's sick. What's that? Look at that magazine. I mean, it's straight steel. Very much, but like, that's it. Nice. There you go. See, but when you fire at the first round, mm -hmm. you got to cock it. You, if you carry it with one of the barrels, you got to either have it cocked and locked, or you got to have it. You got to pull the hammer because There's only three ways oh, you can activate it. I didn't realize this was right here. The palm safety. The palm safety. Okay. See now, take your hand away from there. It won't fire like that. Right, unless you, unless you click on you that tool. Yep. Oh, so you gotta have firm grip if you shoot it. Yeah. Okay. So that trigger. Hold on. Put, put it closer so hopefully that they can catch it. Now you hear that wall? Yeah! That's the sound. Gee, that's it's three sound. ways you can do it. If you're carrying it, you can have one in the barrel. You can have it like this so that when you pull it, you gotta cock it. Mm -hmm. Or. You can have one in the barrel, cocked and locked. But you got to remember to drop that. Because if the safety's on, you can pull the trigger all day and nothing's going to happen. Okay. Or you can carry without one in the barrel. I mean, that's kind of stupid if you get in a shootout. Mm -hmm. That's a second where the guy can already have two rounds going your way. Right. You know. That's the only... I'm left-handed. I don't like single-action guns. Uh, Every gun I've got is double-action. It got to be. Yeah. It gotta be double action. Cause that that's... extra, that extra little second can save your life. Okay, okay, I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, what the fuck is that? I think that's that, that squirrel hunter, 5,000. <laughs> yeah. That's it for the gun show in Vallejo. We was in there. We about to push up on out of here. You know, we getting a little tired. We done seen everything, but it was nice. It was sweet. Y'all go check that out for real. Hit that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe, comment, do all that. Do all that good shit.